princess stuff. It's all the really big of princess dance. Was in any other country, can you imagine how many people would be stopping here? Our place, ready to pass it this morning. And we'll pass it again going back. That is known as two zones. As I said, there are two tools here. The one with the thick marble slab on it. There is somebody buried there by the name of Thomas Jordan Spencer. I think it is 1729 that he was buried here. And this person is a, I don't know if you call him an ancestor or a family member of both Princess Diana Spencer and Winston Spencer Churchill. The coat of arms of their family is chiseled into the marble slab. I think their family name was Spencer of Alphorn. Look at it, please. Read what is on it before they destroy it completely. Nowadays, but here, all that is happening now is that people just paint all kinds of stuff on especially when elections are coming. Both so and so, both so and so. The other two is much older and dates back to, I think, around about 1655 when Britain was fighting Spain for possession of Jamaica. The biggest war that was fought between the Spaniards and the British for this western section of the island took place at the home. For two weeks, a Spanish slave was on one side of the river and the British army was on the other side of the river. At that time it was known as La Caoba out there. And for two days, he kept the British at bay. They could not cross the river because he was shooting at them with a cannon and other rifles. Eventually, they killed him. And that is how the British were able to cross the Black River at that juncture and they captured the rest of this area going down to the western He is the first that is buried in that other tomb. That tomb is made of, uh, um, what would you call it, you know, red dirt and lime put together. And they are both in danger of being destroyed. The main thing is this. That tomb of Thomas Jordan Spencer had a big connection to Lady Diana Spencer, the woman who was or is the most popular woman the world has seen in the last hundred years. And nobody will look at him at least for what they are saying. And on the tourist board, I have told the people at Africans have been done to the British High Commission and nobody is listening or paying any attention. If some and 